This morning, we want to help you make sure that your student athlete is healthy enough to play sports this year when they return to school. This weekend, free athletic screenings are being offered to all Duval County student athletes. Bob Sefcik, director of the Jacksonville Sports Medicine Program, joins us this morning to explain specifically who qualifies and what your child needs to bring with him or her to this event. Good morning to you. Thank Good you morning. for being here. Thanks for Just to clear up any confusion, what is the difference between these screenings and a screening that a student might get at their pediatrician's office? Well, it's not meant to replace the, the normal physical exam for a, for a student. So these are specifically geared toward the student athletes, those that are coming out for sports, those that need that sports physical in, in order to, to participate in the, in the fall sports season. And do you have to, I know that this is geared towards those who don't have a, a regular primary care or pediatrician, but are there certain requirements that you somehow have to meet? You know, could somebody be turned away? Uh, not necessarily. You know, it's really open to all students. We work very closely with our coaches and with our athletic directors at our individual schools. So they align uh, their bus schedules so that the kids can come over by bus over to Nemours uh, so that they can get the screening. It, it, this is interesting, too, because we've talked about this over the last several years, and I think that what is so important about letting our viewers know about this is because I think there's a tendency among parents who have these, you know, athletes who are physically fit and in great shape that you think that perhaps they don't need to have this kind of a screening because they're healthy. But you guys have actually, working with a cardiologist at Nemours and the other doctors, you've de detected conditions in kids that could have ended up, they could have died from playing sports, and it's because they were detected at the screening. Right. Most uh, people think this is just a formality, just filling out that paperwork and for that physical exam, but it's really the first step of injury prevention. We know that sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of sports-related death. More kids die from cardiac arrest mm -hmm. than anything else, so having our cardiologists there from uh, UF Health, uh, the pediatric cardiology team, right on hand, uh, working together with the other doctors that we have there, uh, has been a great service. We, we detected just last year three cases wow. where kids had uh, underlying heart conditions that, that needed some surgical intervention. Wow. So uh, it, it's, it's scary, but on, it on Saturday morning, those kids had all intentions of participating in sports on Monday and found out that they do need to get some attention to their heart condition. Uh, yeah, it's interesting, too, because, um, you know, this is a situation where that is something that perhaps a pediatrician could have missed considering the fact that the screenings that occur are a little bit more in depth, are they not, than what you might get at your at your doctor office? So uh, really the, the program appeals to those that don't have a okay. normal um, you know, uh, annual relationship with mm -hmm. a, a care provider. So we're hoping we're catching those kids that, that don't normally see the docs. We, okay. we have the confidence in our doctors out there that they are catching these types of, of things. But as the kids fill out those medical history questions, we are able to detect and streamline them into the cardiology uh, line, so to speak, and uh, get, get evaluated. If they maybe have like family history or something. Correct. So then what, what exactly, you know, if the, the, you know they're, they're hearing this, maybe your parents are, and it's like, oh, they're going to start poking and prodding my child. What will happen with them at these screenings in terms of what kinds of tests will they be? So, so it's actually a stationed exam. So we'll go, uh, each station has a, a particular subspecialty, if you will. Uh, they go through internal medicine, they, they meet with uh, pulmonologists if they have asthma, they, they work with orthopedic surgeons uh, for an evaluation of their joints and, and muscles and, and all those kinds of things. Uh, then they're also, uh, you know, if they fall out into that cardiology uh, route, they, they go through cardiology, we examine their eyes. And at the very last station is the final checkout where that physician, that sports medicine physician at the end, really goes through and, and evaluates what each individual station uh, came up with and, and does provide for a clearance then at the end. And do they have to bring something specific with them to this? Yeah, so all the forms need to be filled out and they get those from their athletic directors and their coaches. So there's a EL2 form, which is from the Florida High School Athletic Association. And then there's also some consent forms, obviously, for uh, them to participate in the program and then them to participate in any EKG screenings that we do. Which is why it's so important that parents start talking to their child now because we're pretty close to Saturday when these screenings are being offered because they, the parent needs to reach out then to the coach or the, or the athletic trainer at the school to make sure you get those forms and that they're all signed. Exactly. And the other important thing that the parent 
really, we stress, needs to do is help the, those kids complete those Good. forms because that family medical history is very important for this, this, uh, this process. And the student athlete might not necessarily know what the family history is. Exactly. Bob Sefcheck, great information. Thank, Thank you. you very much for being here. Do appreciate it. So students cannot just show up at Nemours specialty cl clinic, by the way, for these screenings. They need to be bused to the hospital, which is why it's so important that your teenager talks now with their coach or athletic director to get a seat on the bus and to make sure that they have the information that he or she needs for that screening, those paperwork that Bob mentioned. Buses will start picking up students at 7.45 on Saturday morning from 14 different schools.